Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saiken. We're playing hard uh, version of the Shadowrun Hong Kong game and we're going to continue the adventures of Sparklight aka Saiken Moonbearer, <coughs> who's our human rigger. The last run didn't actually uh, uh, went all uh, didn't uh, go according to plan. Uh, we were double crossed by our Johnson and were left in the dirt. Uh, luckily, we could shoot our way out and we're now left with uh, more questions than answers. We need money in order to continue our cyber replacements. So far, uh, we got um, ice, uh, we got our uh, wild reflexes, a dermal skin, an option to re uh, throw back grenades, and one uh, cyber kinetic leg. So, it's definitely room for another cyber leg and another arm. That's for sure. Plus, we also need uh, new drones. Um, so we're currently um, actually upgrading our intelligence and our drone control to seven. That's the name of the game. And our run for today's episode is going to uh, lead us to Dreamland. This is finding the plastic-faced guy that has originally um, killed uh, Raymond, although it's not clear if our father um, is really dead. Dreamland is a hacker, um, and the there is a specific with the um, plastic-faced guy. He is able to simply erase his memory, and in order to prevent that, Dreamland here, aka Emily, is going to give us some information. She or he is super talented in decking, so we need uh, her to develop a specific uh, tool. There we go. Take the custom made weapon. Now that's exactly what we were looking for. This custom-made weapon that we're now having is going to give us the ability to inject um, a program into the skull of uh, the plastic-faced guy, preventing him from immediately erasing his memory, because that's exactly what we need. <clears throat> we need his memory of that specific night. Good. Let's visit the plastic-faced guy, shall we? Visit him and say thank you for for the awesome job that he's done. And maybe we'll find out what happened to our father. There is still the rumor that he might live. All right, here we go. Time for the extraction. Saiken is continuing to use his gear. I would really want to use um, this prototype sniping laser. That's absolutely awesome. But uh, we need six... Um, I think we need, yeah, six ranged combat, which we currently don't have in three strings. So a bit more karma that we need to invest in it. But that weapon would definitely be helpful. So there could be even an argument made for upgrading our strength just a tiny bit. Oh gosh, the environment is loud. Let me reduce the uh, volume a little bit. Okay, here we go. So. This is the area where the plastic-faced uh, man is living. We've found out so far a couple of uh, things. Number one, he's a runner, just like we are. So it is quite clear that he has been ordered to do that. Number two, he can erase his memories. We talked about that already. And number three, you're going to find out. Yeah, okay, so that was a weapons uh, merchant and a drug dealer. We don't need to uh, deal with him. I was somehow under the impression that he had information, which he didn't. Okay, we can't bypass the street here, so we gotta take the long way around here. 
there we go that's the house that we're looking for I just want to make double sure uh, I just want to double check that we haven't been missing out on something down here no sometimes you find loot um, in these strange places Good, so this is the complex where the plastic-faced man has his apartment. And there is a guy who regularly works together with him, and that's exactly the person we're currently uh, try uh, trying to, to meet. Okay, uh, let's do this here first. That's a great question. Um, no. No. All right. Let me check that real quick. All right, let's check this again. I think this might be it. Yep, 0006. Zero, zero, uh, by the way, uh, by talking to all of the NPCs, you can easily get those codes. In case you wonder, I am usually using a web page just to make it uh, simpler. But all of them are definitely available in game, like there is no um, trial and error. Good, so here's an information broker. That's the guy uh, who knows the plastic faced man. Unfortunately for us, there's so many things in life. He doesn't really want to work with us. Things go sour and he decides to just betray us because uh, the executive that wants us dead to begin with uh, essentially offered him a deal he couldn't refuse. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. Let's start our wild reflexes. And we're going into control mode with both of our drones. Taking cover. Good, our drones are in cover as well, and Isobel takes cover right here. And I'll let us use the grenade launcher. There we go, that's one hit. Beautiful 25 points of damage crit. Doberman was already in cover. As for Gaichu, let us take an aggressive stance and hunt down the information broker. Oh, come on. All right, we're giving ourselves some, some armor at least. Yeah, that grenade was not close enough to um, to spark light, elsewise uh, he would have just simply thrown it back. Very nice, that's a good start. Giving aim to our samurai. 
And you know what? I don't think that we will have another large conflict, so might as well summon right now. All right, moving in. And like we've mentioned in the mission before, no one betrays us. And that most certainly is true for an information broker as well. Reloading. That's one down. And two down. Isabel cleans house. Our Doberman begins to move a bit closer and we might heal ourselves just in case. There's the grenade. And the enemy just took away four action points. Good, it's up to a one on one. One. Two, three. This guy's almost dead. Perfect. Moving our sniper drone further back. And let's make sure we can hit these guys here. Very nice. It's a good start. The ghost is incredibly strong, so we just crowd control everything. It's a very, very strong uh, ability to summon them regularly. Isobel just killed both of them. Okay, well that's one way of do, uh, dealing with it. Might as well increase her aim going forward and the Doberman uh, moves up and takes a few shots. Did the guy really just escape with one hit point? Ah, that is annoying. I think we missed like five or six hits. Well, I think we did not really, um, we wouldn't have gotten any loot from him anyways. But the computer reveals that we uh, that he's either um, uh, to be found in a garage, a kind of remote location there, um, but that there is going to be security present, or that he's regularly visiting like a brothel uh, with a few mistresses and there would be civilian casualties. I uh, decided that we're going to fight in the parking lot, just because I like uh, liked the fight the last time. I found it uh, quite interesting. And yet another grenade that we're uh, throwing back. 
and yet another one. I'm telling you, this cyber arm is just phenomenal. All right. We're buffing our melee combatant. Isabel charges in. One grenade, two grenades, and let's move up with uh, Stance of the Heaven. Holy shit, he's dealing a lot of damage. The two hit chances aren't super hot. The drones have kind of fallen uh, off at least a bit. They used to be very strong at the beginning and now with their only two um, ability points and their mediocre aim, they are lacking a bit. But that's not a problem once we upgrade them again we should be fine i mean realistically speaking we bought them at the beginning of the game so it comes at no surprise that they are no longer top tier although they deal a lot of damage um like specifically the sniper drone has indeed dealt a substantial amount of damage like 30 um on a critical hit. Accuracy buff, there we go. Yeah, we don't want to charge into the open. Summoning the rat, just because it's another companion. Doberman moves in and our sniper drone kind of moves over here. That way we have the really nice long shots. Isabel reloads and takes cover over here. Okay, time to motor, I would say. That's one hit, two hits, three hits, and a kill. Ouch. Didn't want to shoot at them, I wanted to mark them. Very good. Good. Spark light. It's all the way over here. We want to take cover very soon. Fortunately, the grenade launcher is not very accurate um, on long distances. 
Good, let's take the red. It's going to draw the majority of the enemy fire. And let's see where the plastic faced man is. He must be somewhere around here. As intended, the red is drawing all of the fire, and uh, this year, by the way, is the plastic faced man. He's sitting right next uh, behind uh, his uh, behind the car. If we were to kill him, that would have severe consequences. Moving up, healing Daishu, that's pretty much it. So in other words, we can't let him die. Okay, so let's get a couple of uh, things straight, shall we? We're taking the sniper drone here. And that's exactly the sort of distance that we're looking for. Long distance firefights. Meanwhile, moving on to the corporate bodyguard here. Ignoring the plastic faced men. Isobel moves into cover and we are moving our Doberman over here. So the plastic faced men very soon will need to be tasered and then it's just a matter of time until yeah, he'll become unconscious. So Sparklight I think was the one having the gun. Let's check real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it says... Uh, that we need to get a bit closer. Hmm. I really don't like it, but I think to a degree we need to stand in the open. Haste is not yet up. We could use it on Sparklight so that he can uh, can indeed get a bit closer. Let's try the grenade again. Oh gosh, we're so far off. Trying to attack with the rat. The immediate attack of the red takes away action points, and that's great. Because if you take away all of the action points, they are basically taken out. Our sniper drone Kills the guy on the very back uh, back end. That is good. Whilst at the same time, 
Let's continue to hunt the bodyguard. There we go. We can summon a spirit over here. That's, uh, once the rat is dead, we're going to do exactly that. And our Doberman... I mean, just for good measure... Those guys have a lot of in built-in defense, because even in the open, the Doberman only hits with 27% chance. Which is ridiculous, if you think about it. The rat just died. So perfect timing for a few things. Number one, no, oh, that was a mistake, a big mistake. I just wanted to cast haste on Psyche and gosh, that was a blunder. Well, in that case, I would say we're telling the Doberman to hold. And we'll start moving in next turn. Trying to hit the guy. There we go. Almost down. Yep. And that's one less enemy. We're continuing to focus on the sniper with our sniper. Marking the targets and let's hit them. Well, that's good as well. 27 points of damage and another 27 means uh, we killed one more and we're down to three enemies but of course they get reinforcements if I'm not mistaken they even got reinforcements from the other side we might as well be able to steal the ghost there all right summoning spirit Moving in, healing Gaichu, and whom could we target? I think this guy here makes for a good cause. Unfortunately, the water elemental has such a miserable, miserable aim. Saiken moves up, and soon we're going to uh, take the face of the sky. In the meantime, moving right uh, behind cover. That was good. Oh, wait a second. We can still haste Saiken. I almost forgot. So we can indeed hit the plastic face man. Good. Rounds under plastic face man is unconscious. Three. Uh, that is good. And in the meantime, we are hitting these guys here with our grenade launcher. Fortunately, not very successful. Our sniper drone picks on the enemy sniper. 75% shot. He's almost down. Holy crap. That was a lot of damage. The fire elemental is actually quite strong. Can we heal? 
Yeah, we have used healing last round already. So Gaichu actually starts healing himself. That's a kill. And let's give ourselves a bit more armor. In the meantime, we're going to present a new target. Stripping armor. Yeah, we can't we can't reach uh, the ghost, but it would be an awesome target to steal. I mean, that is for sure. Moving up. Saiken in the meantime begins to go into control mode for the Doberman again. Doberman moves up to offer a target. And the Saiken begins to hit uh, the Summoner. Let's use our Sniper Drone in the Sniper du Duel. It finally cracks the opposition. And we're moving to get a better line of sight. I would say the same is true for Isobel. Just need to get a bit closer. And there are even more reinforcements from behind. We gotta take care of them. Okay, one thing at a time. Continue to heal ourselves. Healing Gaichu for another 17, so he's uh, now full again. That's perfect. And let's steal the fire elemental. Great. And Gaichu could use some accuracy buff. Good. Which means he, in return, will now start tearing apart the rigor. Unfortunately, he misses a 87% shot, which is ridiculous. Getting our drone into a cover position. And let's see what we can do with our fire elemental. First things first, the Knight Errant Conjura. 93% and we're missing this. All right, this looks much more like it. There we go, Knight Errant Conjura done. Isobel moves back and lobs a grenade. Unfortunately, our sniper drone doesn't really work out uh, that well. And the Doberman, for the third time in this mission, moves into a completely different direction to uh, protect the front line. Good. Again, one thing at a time. Let's take out the rigor. One hit. Two hits. 
and there's the kill. Moving our fire elemental all the way over here. I I would like to haste the fire elemental, but I definitely know that it's flimsy at best. It can break free and then we would have a problem, right? Instead, Isabel launches a few mines, which is fine. Good, our sniper drone wants to hit the mage. But the other uh, enforcer is flanked, which of course makes way more sense to abuse that. And the Doberman has not hit a single shot. It's unbelievable. Right, one, they can finish him. Two, and three. Good, Saiken uses full auto, and we're done. That was a long standoff, but well worth it. And after we in start interrogating a uh, plastic-faced uh, man, we find out that he indeed uh, has been hired by the executive council. And the executive council is Josephine Sang. She has uh, uh, has ordered him to not kill but extract Raymond and um, he uh, and Raymond in reality is not Raymond Black but not uh, no one less than Josephine Sang's uh, son which makes it highly interesting so our stepfather uh, in uh, our foster father in reality had been her son all along so she has kidnapped her own son and things begin to kind of tighten up as uh, apparently Raymond was involved in a so-called uh, so-called prosperity project um, in the prosperity project it is unclear what prosperity is at this point, but apparently Raymond has messed that up quite badly. And uh, his mother wants to get him back. So she has kidnapped him and uh, ordered everyone to kill us uh, because she didn't want to have any loose ends. It's unclear though why that is the case. So something is going on with the prosperity project. Of course, we killed him because there are no loose ends. We could have let him live, but I felt that he definitely had deserved it for uh, kidnapping our father and killing his bodyguards, uh, mind you. So we've now, by the way, also downloaded about uh, two terabyte data from his uh, school about uh, the security location of the Prosperity Tower the location or uh, uh, the headquarter of uh, Mrs. Sang's um, head, uh, headquarter 
So we're going to pay that tower a visit very, very soon. It is where Raymond Black is being held alive. Oh, and finally, we have been uh, made aware uh, that apparently his mother was unhappy with his behavior and is now starting to rewire his brain, aka delete his memories and um, kind of bring him back to order. We have 15 karma points. So let's see how we're going to upgrade Sparklight. With intelligence, I think we're going for Drones 7. That'll give us access to Class S drones, highest drones in the game. And very soon we should get the plus one bonus AP. And Yeah, plus 10 accuracy and plus 4 hit points. That's a great specialization as well. Well, Drone 9 would definitely also be great. Like, plus 2 AP means 4 AP on each of the drones. That's 8, 8 AP, just pure drone action. Something to consider... It would require us to go all the way up to Intelligence 9, uh, though, in order to also get uh, Drone uh, Combat 9. We don't need to uh, increase our Drone Control anymore. Yeah, I think there is no benefit in those um, in 8 and 9. Yeah, but I think this is probably too much investment, to be honest. So once we're done with intelligence, um, I would uh, say we're continuing with um, uh, getting ranged combat up to six so we can use a proper rifle and also get quickness and dodge up. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, might as well invest one more into body so that we get this additional essence. Oh, damn it. I did not click on OK. So, intelligence, let's go for the drones. I think that's a reasonable approach. And then something strange is happening. Because we're trying, uh, we're really daydreaming, and we're trying to kind of shake it off before um, before something was happening. Uh, before we realized what was happening, we, we've just been pulled away from jumping in front of the train. Something was whispering uh, to us and completely blurred our vision. So that something was in Wallet City, so the part that looked to be completely kind of out of uh, sync with its um, with its environment. Gobbit, the streets uh, shaman, can either get consume spirits. Uh, consuming a spirit heals Gobbit for 20 hit points over two rounds, and her AP is increased for one. That's great. Or she develops a new version of haste. Um, Increase the friendly target's AP by one for four rounds, and her own accuracy is increased by 15%. You know, I mean, that's not bad, to be honest. We're not working so much with uh, spirits yet, and quite frankly, she wasn't hurt that badly, but I will... I will actually use the uh, Consume Spirit ability for now. Because I haven't used that in the past. I'm pretty sure that the Augmented Haste spell is better, but I still want to give it a try. We got Pain Suppression. Or Sabotage, which is uh, one armor penetration. Uh, with each shot uh, out of our 
out of our um, grenade launcher and we're definitely going to go for that. See, here we do have Duncan's arm with the, uh, with, with the magnetic arm uh, to throw back uh, grenades. It's great and we're definitely going to take that one. Finally, Whirlwind that hits adjacent targets. You know what? I like it. Might as well take that one. The other one is an innate healing ability. That was actually also pretty good. You know, by thinking about it, yeah, the whirlwind ability is nice and you know, but I think we're still going for the regeneration. That was really good because it uh, can regenerate wounds, um, not not only wounds that he, uh, that he has recently suffered uh, from, but it can regenerate whatever is needed. Good, it's time to talk to Auntie again and then take the money off our run. We are basically telling her everything that just happened and she suggests uh, that we're raiding uh, the tower. Raymond is uh, is being kept in a stage uh, in a uh, in an area called Lab Twelve, and that's exactly where we need to go. All right, the game gives us another four karma for free. Thank you, which I think is enough to. Uh, to even upgrade our drone control. So after the next run, we would even be at drone control 7. Drone control 7 gives us 10% accuracy, which is great. But this here is the plus 1 AP, and that's even better. Yeah, we would need strength 3 at some point as well for the gun. But that can wait. I think we're going for Drone Control 7 next, or Drone Combat uh, 7 next. And afterwards it's time to raise quickness, or strength actually, uh, to carry the gun, because uh, it was important as well. So many skills that uh, we want to raise and not enough karma for all of them. Good. View all uh, pending jobs, active jobs it is. Ah, here we go. Oh, we got already paid. No. Hmm. It seems we did not get a payment other than the information for Raymond. Well, Sucks because we need a lot of money. There are no other new runs for us. Good, which means before we are ending today's session, we're um, selling a bit of excess material because we indeed need money. Certainly not our extra weapon, but Isobel's deck. However, we got in the possession of it in the first place. And from our equipment, I think we're fine. You can arguably sell killing hands, but there is no direct need to do that right now.
Good, let's take a look if we can already, if we can buy the best drones. So the Guardian MK2 uh, requires control drone control 7 as well as the Wolfhound. And for drones, let's take a short look. So, according to the wiki, the Guardian MK2 uh, is indeed an S drone, so you need 7 skill for it. Um, it will have 18 damage per shot. That's great. Uh, a lot of hit points as Overwatch, single shot, aim shot, uh, target head, target leg. And uh, the automated version of it um, comes with a fully automatic weapon, so that has burst fire and... Um, and uh, full auto. So it seems that this year is more the sniper variant, whilst this year is the yeah full auto variant. The support drones aren't really bad, uh, quite the opposite. Uh, they do have a standard weapon, so the one that we're seeing here, the Wolfhound, is indeed the best drone as well, deals 18 points of damage, comes with one advanced medkit, um, that it can use for 20 hit points, three concussion grenades and one smoke grenade uh, which are going to be refilled every single run. So this is pretty damn good. Question is can we afford it uh, somehow? So if we were to sell the Doberman that's 500. So we're at 2700. Hmm. Still not enough. So if we were to sell the Doberman and Killing Hands, which we're anyways not using at the moment, then we're almost there. And with one advanced medkit that we're selling, we would be at 3,000. All right. And for the 3,000, we are buying the Wolf um, uh, Hound, which is the support drone. And once we get 4,000, we're buying the Guardian, uh, either the automatic version or the Sniper Drone. Good. It will drop a grenade or medkit uh, in a fight. Well, that is perfect. I like it. And we still got enough uh, supplies, so I'm not worried. Our outfit is really good. Um, once we uh, once we get the extra aim for the drones, ten percent aim is uh, the next level. I really am considering going for three strength and uh, six aim, so that we can have the prototype sn uh, sniping laser. And Matthew here has helped us a lot, so. We now do have a Doberman. If you look a bit closer, there it is. Nice little hovering drone. Which brings us to the end of today's session. Sparklight has equipped himself with a very, very nice equipment. Um, and we're uh, nearing kind of the uh, end of the game. Uh, things are uh, getting more and more clear which is great, uh, so uh, we uh, might be able to take revenge on whoever uh, was fucking with us. If you enjoyed what you've seen, consider subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment down below, as always, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.